Hello everyone, welcome back to another video and in this video I would like to talk about how to fix Hell Divers 2 is having an issue with crashing, it is not launching, won't launch, freezing, stuttering, lagging, FPS drop, stuck on loaded screen and even many more issue and how we can fix this up. So let's dive into the work now. The first one we need to start with all the time, start with a simple restart. So to do this, just go over here in the start icon. Go over here, go to the restart. Once the restart is done, just try and launch the game. Still, if you're having the trouble, the next one, we should not be launching the game from Steel. We need to launch the game from the installation folder. So just go over here to the file explorer. Now from here, navigate to this PC, go to Lockly Disk D, because this is where the game is should start with Lockly Disk D. Now from here, we have to select the folder, Steam Library, Go to Steam Apps, go to Common. Now from here, scroll down and navigate to Hell Divers 2. Open this. Now from here, go to Bin Folder. And now, as you can see, this is the application. This is the .exe file for the game. So now we need to launch the game from here. So try launching the game. Instead of launching it from Steam, try launching the game from here. Next step, we need to start with run the game as an administrator. And also we need to run it as an compatibility mode so right click over here now from here we need to click on it right click go to show more option go to the properties go to compatibility click on run this program in the compatibility mode set this to windows 7 or we can set this to windows 8 try this to windows 7 or windows 8 now scroll down click on this one run this program as an administrator and that is also very important so you need to put a check on compatibility mode this one we can try with Windows 7 or Windows 8. Make sure one, put a check on run this program as an administrator. Go for apply and go for OK and try launch the game. Make sure one, what we need to do is just go back. Still, if you're having the trouble, we need to try. Make sure one, that is all about. We need to allow the game to window security. So just go over here, search for the control panel. We need to search for the control panel and click on this one. And right now, go to the system and security, Windows Defender Firewall. Scroll down and navigate to allow an app feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Now from here, scroll down and navigate to the game, Hell Divers. So keep scrolling down and you will be able to find Hell Divers 2 over here. So it is very important. Make sure both you have, you put a check on both the private and public. Put a check on both the boxes. And once it is done, we have to check. So imagine some cases, the game will not be here. So what we need to do is just click on the change setting. Go to allow another app, go for the browse, navigate to this PC, go to local disk B, go to Steam Library, Steam Amps Common. Now from here, we have to go to Hell Divers 2. Just click on the bin folder, select this one and go for open and add. I'm getting the error because the exception is, it's the, the .exe is already added. Now close this, go back and try and launch the key. Make sure it's all about what we need to do. We just need to Unplug all the USB devices. So we might be connected with a lot of peripherals. External joysticks might be connected. External keyboard might be connected. So just unplug everything. Once everything is unplugged, we just need to try launching the game. Next one, what we need to do is we just need to perform a clean boot. So just go over here, search for system configuration, search for system configuration. Click on this one. Now from here, what we need to do is just go to the services, go for disable all, go to hide all Microsoft services, go for apply and go for OK. Now you have to start with a restart. Once the restart is done, just try and launch the game. Next one is all about what we need to do. Is we just need to disable the Steam overlay. So just go over here in the game, right click, go to the properties, go for make sure enable the Steam overlay while in game. You have to turn this off and try launching the game. Still, if you're having the trouble, you need to try with giving the commands in the launch option. That is the first command, BX11. You have to start with BX11. Or you have to start with BX12. Or you can start with B3, D2. You can start with B3, D2. And you have to check. Still, if you're having the trouble, we just need to move to the next one. That is all about what we need to do. Is we just need to close all the overlay application. So just go over here in the game, right click, go to the task manager. And right now, as you can see, there are a lot of things running in the background and all these things are actually affecting the performance and that is why we're ending up in the crashing issue. So just remove everything. Once everything is removed, that example, for example, this code should be removed. 
Epic Games launcher should be removed. Remove all the unwanted things. And once everything is successfully removed, we just need to close this, go back and try using the game. Still, if you're having that trouble, you can try the next one. That is all about. We need to run the game on dedicated graphics card. So just go over here, search for the graphics settings. Now from here, just click on this one and we need to add the game. So just click on the Android desktop app and now from here, go to this PC, go to local disk, the Steam library, Steam apps, common. Now from here, go to Health Divers 2. Now select this one, go for Health Divers and add. So once it is added, you can see it is successfully added. So just go over here, change this one. GPU preferences should be changed. For length, Windows side should be changed to high performance. And now we just need to close this, go back and try launching the game. Next one is all about, we need to increase the virtual memory. So just go over here, search for view advanced system setting. Just click on this one, go to the advanced settings, advanced change. Make sure this is blank and select the game where the game is installed. So it is local disk D, go to the custom size, initial size 1.5 times total RAM and the maximum size 3 times total RAM. So just go over here, search for your advanced system setting, not this one, we just need a calculator. So just search for the calculator. So search for the calculator and click on this one. And right now, multiply 16 GB multiplied with a 1024 constant value into 1.5, that is 24576. Now we just need to type this. Maximum size, 16 GB multiplied with 1024 and we need to multiply it with 3. That is 40 man 152 and copy this and we need to paste it. So once every value is being set, just close everything and try in you know, the key. Next one is all about, we need to update the graphics card. So I'll be providing a link in the description to both NVIDIA where you can go to the NVIDIA. Now you need to select which one is your configuration according to your PC's configuration. So mine is GeForce 16 series, GeForce GTX 1650 and I'm on running on Windows 11 and go for find. Right now, you'll be getting a bunch of details on the latest released graphics card. And if you check, you'll be able to find it. So right now, if the system is based on 566.36, you have to download this one. And right now, if you go to the AMD, just go over here, go to the graphics, select the RD on RX 5000 series and go over here and go to the submit. And over here, you can see if the system is based on Windows 11, download this one. If the system is based on Windows 10, you can download this one. Try installing Microsoft Azure C++ as well. That's one also an important step. If the system is based on x64, download this one. If the system is based on x86, download this one and install. At least Arc is mandatory and try launching the game. Even after trying with this, still if you're having the trouble, we have two very important steps and one among them is just go over here, go to the manage and uninstall the game. And the last and the least step before that, make sure that you install the game back to not on the same local disk you have to try a new local disk either you have to try installing it on c or you have to try it on e even after trying with the stay if you're having the trouble the next one is all about we need to verify the game file so just go to the game right click go to the properties go to installer file just verify game file so if any files are corrupted if any files are missing and all these kind of issues will be fixed by this so that is why we're recommending this one even though after this, I'm going to show you a bunch of stuff as well, which can also be considered in order to fix the issue. So this is going to take a little bit of time. So let's we'll wait and let's we'll move to the next step after this.
Now you can see there is one files fail to validate, which means you'll be having the trouble. So we need to do this. We just need to take your backup and we have to try it once again. So these are the steps that can be done. So uh, I hope this quick video is helpful. Don't forget to subscribe and like the button and share among your friends. And if you have any doubts, do ask in the comment sessions. See you soon in the next video. Have a nice day.